Hey, I'm Mark Stevens, author of Government Indicted. My website, of course, markstevens.net. Want to do a quick video, give an update on the attack against Adam Kokesh in uh, Arizona. Uh, so I gave all the facts here, so you can just follow the uh, the URL and um, you can get that. Well, just go to markstevens.net. It's fairly recent. So um, we got we had filed a motion to dismiss that was denied. We filed a motion to reconsider that, or for David Williams here. That's him there. Let's see if we can get a better shot of uh, David Williams. Uh, oh, there he is. So uh, he had filed uh, – so he, he we filed a motion to reconsider or for this guy to provide the evidence to support his argument or his claim, his opinion that the laws applied to Adam because he's physically in Arizona. And uh, he has opposed that, and we also filed to subpoena the – to subpoena the board of supervisors, that's they are, for Yavapai County, Arizona. He's opposing that, uh, given the fact that uh, David admittedly has not a shred of evidence to support his claim, uh, give, and that his, his boss, uh, Jack Smith, admitted to me on the phone when I asked him, do you have any proof that just because Adam is physically in Arizona, your Constitution laws apply? He laughed and said that's way above his pay grade. Given the fact that we have these admissions and that these guys didn't respond at all to my question of, 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 for evidence, uh, I could see why this guy would not want you know, such uh, damaging testimony to be uh, there. So he did file to uh, he did file opposing the subpoenas, and we'll go through the laughable reason why. Uh, he's stating here in the request for subpoenas. Of course, he objects to the issuance of subpoenas. Coca stated that he or his representative spoke to Chairman Smith and that Supervisor Brown would not return any phone calls. No other member of the Board of Supervisors communicated with Kokesh or his representative. Uh, that's me. Uh, Kokesh's request for subpoena rec- recognized that the Yavapai County Board of Supervisors has no involvement in, in this investigation. Uh, this is one of a few lies that our friend uh, David uh, tells uh, you know, submits in writing uh, to a hearing office and through the United States mail. Uh, and considering they're trying to get money, this could be a major case of mail fraud. Uh, but this is definitely um, not, this is really, really misleading. And it just shows how dishonest people like this and uh, David Williams, the, 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 the level of dishonesty that they are willing to sink to, to avoid any responsibility at all or to even admit that they could have been wrong about something. So let's go through this. Uh, I did speak to Jack Smith, who's the chairman. I did not get to speak to Supervisor Brown after Jack Smith didn't keep his word and act in good faith, didn't keep his word and, and uh, speak with David Williams and that there would be no escalation unless there was evidence of jurisdiction first. So... The fact that Chairman Smith and uh, we have doc, I, I was able to you know get the, the the times I spoke to him on the phone. Uh, the fact that no one else spoke, it, it's just absolutely false that that the County Board of Supervisors had no involvement in investigation. It, that's if we only look at Brown. If we only look at Brown, that is absolutely false. But what, what's astounding. Is it, it, when you look at this, how he's trying to excuse these guys by misleading and saying no involvement in the investigation. I told them all multiple times. I did to him on the phone. I left messages with this guy. The rest of them, they all got emails. I emailed. It was a, you know they all got emails. They all knew about it. They all knew that their employee. David Williams was attacking Adam Kokesh, admittedly without any evidence whatsoever, and that he was acting in bad faith. We, that, I, well, proceeding without evidence in jurisdiction is bad faith. These guys knew. They knew that. The fact that they turned a blind eye to the abuse does not mean that they weren't involved. They just were not involved in stopping it. They're two separate things. Sitting back and watching someone get raped or get beat up. You are involved. You're just not doing anything to help. You're just as culpable. So just because Don Corleone only 
ordered the attack and didn't actually pull the trigger doesn't mean he wasn't involved. I think this is disgraceful. This is so dishonest. And then no, no, David, the fact that they sat by and watched it happen doesn't mean that they weren't involved. They were involved. And so uh, to further show that that they were involved or should have been, we go to right here, the Board of Supervisors and their, uh, their authority. This is Arizona Revised Statutes, Section 11-51. The Board of Supervisors supervise the official conduct of all county officers. That includes David Williams, even though they don't direct the day-to-day, as he says, and he's right. They don't direct the day-to-day operations, but that's extremely misleading because they're the supervisors, for heaven's sakes. They do supervise the official conduct. And here we go. See that such officers faithfully perform their duties. You see? So they are involved. They just didn't do a damn thing to help because they don't care. They don't care. This guy knew and dropped it in his lap, and this guy blew it off. But just, again, just because you refuse to, to step in and do what you're supposed to do and do the right thing and help someone who's being attacked doesn't mean you have no involvement in the investigation. So uh, this should be rejected, but uh, we will find out. So then we also... Uh, got, he objects to our motion to reconsider and provide the evidence. He goes through again. Now, this is all dishonest. He says down here that the specific question for evidence proving the Constitution applies to Adam because he's physically in Arizona was provided on the phone call to me on the 26th. This is a lie. This is not true. All he does is restate the same garbage. He's making a legal argument presuming... His argument is true that the Constitution and laws apply in the first place because Adam's physically in Arizona. So he's conflating an issue of practical application with a theoretical question of law. They're not the same thing. Um, So none of that's true. He then lies. Well, he lies here. Mr. Kokesh and Mr. Stevens have taken a position that the state mandated creation of the zoning ordinance and enforcement does not apply to Mr. Kokesh. So uh, despite admissions that Mr. Kokesh owns the land and that land is completely within the jurisdiction of the Avapai County. Now, this, now, first, this is a lie. This is two lies. Well, at least two. I'm trying to make this a short video. Um, we did not take a position that the state mandated creation of the zoning ordinance and enforcement does not apply to Mr. Kokesh. We stated that based on our speaking to David Williams himself and speaking to Jack Smith and and, and asking for evidence from all the supervisors, based on his admission, his admission, and their lack of uh, of evidence, of uh, any statements whatsoever, because the fact uh, not appearing is presumed not to exist, based on their statements... An inability to provide any evidence. Our position is there's no evidence to prove that the Constitution and laws apply to Adam just because he's physically in Arizona. Next, we never said, and I know Adam didn't say, and I would never say this, we never made an admission that Adam owned the land and that the land is completely within the jurisdiction of Yavapai County. Uh, No, that is this guy's position. He believes that it's it, it's fully within the jurisdiction of Yavapai County. We never ag- admitted to that. We wouldn't. You don't have any damn evidence. So that's a, th- those are two misrepresentations. Well, they're lies. Then he goes to the grant, one of the oldest and most common lies. He's trying to say that disclosure of evidence is to occur only at the hearing and that he will establish jurisdiction on the day of the hearing. This is the same stupid lie that jurisdiction is a trial issue. No, it is not a trial issue because, and we put this in a response, if Adam wants to, he can sue this guy for the damage he's causing. He can also sue uh, these guys. We have a statutory violation that they did not oversee the uh, 
uh, what what David was doing, and that they looked the other way and did not stop uh, uh, in a, a, a serious due process violation. Uh, we could sue them. Uh, Adam could sue them because you know what his lawyers will do is argue Rule 12B, failure to state a claim and sovereign immunity. And they will not argue that Adam gets to take them to trial where that is where he can prove jurisdiction. No, because jurisdiction is not strictly a trial issue. It's a it's a pre-arraignment. It's a pre- it's a look. Once the issue, once jurisdiction is asserted, it is subject to challenge and must be proven. So, David, you're wrong. So he's not coming out and directly saying in so many words, but he really is. So that's what he means. Any dismissal of this action prior to the hearing is premature. Really. So if we sue you, any dismissal prior to a hearing and a tri- or a trial is premature. Now we know for. Now, we know full well that that's not, they know that's not true. So David is just lying. And that's why this is the only picture we have of him online. He pulled the original down. So I'm going to have to put this in the article so that when you search for David Williams, this picture will still come up. So it, it saved, it didn't go down, the, uh, didn't go down the, the memory hole. So he deleted his page after the last video. So hopefully we covered everything here. Uh, I also wanted to point out that, uh, as far as the subpoenas were concerned, that one of the issues was bad faith. So uh, that's something we we do bring up and we reference in there. So uh, this, the subpoenas are necessary to show bad faith that they all knew that David Williams was acting without jurisdiction and they proceeded anyway. So, um, but you know that pretty much covers it. David Williams is a liar. He is part of a criminal organization. I said that they're a criminal organization because nobody voluntarily pays them as far as so-called taxpayers. It is pay or go to jail. Um, so uh, that's another thing that their attorney would not answer. But bottom line, uh, he doesn't want them to be there. He doesn't want any kind of discussion of the issues because he has no evidence and he has proceeded in bad faith and will be able to prove that if, in fact, there is a hearing. Uh, but again, if uh, you disagree with anything I presented here in the video, uh, you're more than welcome to call into a live broadcast of the No State Project and uh, present your evidence. Again, my name is Mark Stevens. The website is markstevens.net.